Hi everyone, um, so I'm trying out a whole bunch of positions to put this camera because I've got new lighting So let me know if you guys like this camera, um, this camera, this positioning of the camera I'm just going to go around my room and see what angle suits best But anyway, I'm back to topic, I hope you guys are all doing well Yes, yeah, so I hope everyone's having a good day, you guys, I've always loved Fridays Like since I was a child, I've just had this special connection with Friday Like I've always loved Fridays and I don't know why the time period between 4 and 5 and it wasn't because I finished school or I finished work it was just because I don't know the sky was pretty during that time I don't know I've just always had this weird connection this love for Friday so I'm so excited it's Friday today um I had a few errands to run I had a meeting but I'm back home now so I'm like you know now that I'm ready I might as well film a video do you guys I'm so into this color by the way I like this beautiful um purple color I don't know if I'm going to put this video up soon or the other one that I want to show you guys the outfit of the day that I was wearing which this was included in but either way, and I'm just wearing um, black, um, I guess, tight leggings. But yeah, and my favorite blazer. But yeah, okay. So today I'm going to talk about basically high school and how to survive. I do get a lot of questions about that because I'm pretty sure majority of my viewers are kind of between that high school kind of gap. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're starting high school, if you're in the middle of it, or if you're about to graduate. High school can be one of the scariest things I remember. Okay, so first of all, it's kind of like my story but advice as well and you guys know i mean i'm such a i love i love giving out I'm like i love giving out advice no i just love kind of tell, telling people my story because everyone once everyone starts high school they kind of think that they're the only ones going through all the nerves and if i mean if they get bullied like they're kind of i mean even me i always thought i was the only one but there's so many other people that go through the exact same thing regard as i said before it doesn't matter if you're starting or if you're in the middle or if you're, if you're, or if you're about to graduate. Like, we all kind of go through the same thing in different aspects. And um, that's why, like, I love giving out these advice videos because I hope and they do help. And I definitely enjoy watching them myself, especially if I was younger. I would love to watch these videos. So um, I do get a lot of questions asked about people that are going to high school. And as I said, it can be one of the most, I don't know, like, traumatizing experiences. But it can also be one of the best I don't know, like life experiences. By the way, for those overseas, um, in Australia we call year 7 to 12 high school. So, I don't know, you guys call it like middle, no, you don't call it middle school, you guys call it, I know this answer. Um, it's like you ha your senior year, which is 11 and 12, and then you have, I think, middle, junior high. Yeah, you have junior high and then middle school, right? I think, I don't know, I may be completely wrong. But anyway, so this kind of applies to seven, so grade seven to year twelve. So that's high school for us. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. First of all, as I said, um, high school for me when that when I started year seven, I went to a completely different school from kinder to year six. So when I was starting year seven, it wasn't only people that I knew. I had I knew, actually I knew one person. One of my close friends went. But you know how you do drift apart. I really thought I was going to be best friends with this one person that I was the whole time in primary school but it does and it's not something that's sad like it kind of it's a bittersweet thing because you kind of grow apart with your friends from when when you were much younger but then at the same time I mean it's sad but at the same time you find all these new people you kind of fall into place more you I don't know in Australia you kind of I guess more options because um, I mean depending on if you change your school or not you have more options with your friends groups I don't know it's it's like a whole different world and it was so exciting for me but I was traumatized. Can I just say, oh my god, <laughs> thinking about it, I'm like, I'm such a loser. Okay, first of all, when I was starting year seven, as I said, I knew one person. This made me literally petrified. I w I'm not joking you, you guys, I couldn't sleep the night before I had to start year seven. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to have a heart attack and die. I was so nervous. I was so scared. And I have no idea why. Like right now, I love meeting new people. I, I, you guys, I just, you guys clearly know that if you pay me, I don't think I'll stop talking. Like I'm just always constantly talking, constantly. Like I love to meet new people. Back then, I was such a loser. Like no, seriously, not like that. But can I just say, like I was petrified. I remember I started year seven. This is so embarrassing. I don't even know why I'm saying this, but I was crying. Oh my god! And you guys don't even because I miss my mom. Course, I still miss my mom if I go to places, but I'm in cry Lillian really crying. Wait, why were you crying for? Um, anyway, so I was like the biggest weirdo, um, and it kind of took me a while to kind of fall into place. And I was never one of those people that was considered a loser, but I was never one of the popular kids, I was always in between. I remember I was friends with kind of like people that were considered losers, which clearly, like, no one's a loser, but people that were considered losers, and I was friends with people that were considered popular as well. 
um, I don't know, like, I just, I don't know, I've always had this thing that you can't grade someone based on looks or you can't grade someone based on how smart or because everyone's just growing everyone high school is a time period where your looks change the your your mentality changes everything about you is evolving constantly 24 7 and to judge someone based on a look or the, like the if you're in intermediate or advanced or if you're in general like for example maths or like if someone's in general or you know you're not as smart that's so not true everyone's growing everyone's like de developing into their own thing and to base someone on that is completely I don't know, it's just not the right thing to do at all. My experience was, I don't know, like, as, as you guys know, as I always mention in my videos, I did get bullied in primary school, which was, I mean, now that I think back, as sad as it is, I, like, it makes me laugh. Um, I know I shouldn't laugh because bullying is a very serious issue. But to think about the risk is that, like, I was, like, too white, so I would, like, they'd call me whitey. What the hell? Now, like, why would someone get bullied because they're too white? And I'm, like, I'm fair-skinned. And then I was short, so they're like shorty. It was it was crazy, but and that literally and it does it affects you so much. As I I'll put on my um like my how to become confident video and all those advice confident videos below because I do have a few videos on that, which I kind of go into further more confidence and things like that. But back to what I was saying, like seriously, who judges someone on color? And I know there's like retards that do, but. I don't know, now that I think back, it was so stupid for me to even get affected by it. It was insane. Like, why would I get affected? I was kind of gone through high school with that, like, doing my own thing. And, you know, as I said, I was friends with the losers and, you know, the popular people. But it's weird how, I don't know, you know that saying how they always say people that in high school that are so popular and that are so, like, they, they make us seem like, oh, their life is perfect and, oh, they have no worries and they have... And by the way, I went to an all-girls school, FYI, like seriously. And they were, and they still had all that. I mean, you would think if there was no guys that there's like no competition, there's no rivalry. Oh, please. There was so much more competition. There's so, like, it's crazy. Like, girls can be their worst enemies. And guys don't even have this. I can bet you, if you go to an all-boys school, it's so much more calmer because what are they going to fight over? I mean, besides girls. But seriously, like, girls have so much to fight, fight about and that shouldn't be the case at all. But anyway, um... And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, like, how is my, when is this time period going to finish? Like, when is high school going to finish for me? I was so ready to graduate. And I remember when my, one of my best friends, um, okay, first of all, I went to a separate high school from year 78. And overseas, and I, when, once I was back, am I talking too fast? Uh, yeah, and then once, when I was back, I changed high school. So, once I was back, my best, I, I went to my, same school as my best friend. And she graduated a year before me, because, um, long story cut short, my mom, I had to, my mum wanted me to basically repeat preschool because she thought, you know, I had to learn English more because coming from an army background, please mum, anyway, whatever. So I repeated preschool, so that's why she graduated a year earlier than me. Um, and I was terrified. I was like, oh my, I had no confidence. I was like, how am I going to meet people? Because, um, I don't know, people kind of change, like students may change, like in the senior year kind of period. I was petrified. And now that I look back, honest to God, you can't judge someone on... As I said, their looks, anything like that, it's all, everything's changing, everyone's growing. You have to think, and I know it sounds cliche, this is what I was going to say before. Okay, so it's funny how people that are successful in high school, if you guys know what I mean, like they're popular and everyone likes them. Not in a bad way, but they kind of end up being, I'm not saying the losers are like celebrities, no, clearly no, no any. But they kind of end up being not as successful after high school and that might not be the case 100 percent because i know people that were popular in high school and they're still kind of very social and you know all that but are in their shells and they don't know how to express themselves and they're really shy i.e me um you kind of do fall like kind of fall in love with your own um skin and you're comfortable in your skin kind of thing and it's important to remember that because students can be so cool and i remember saying this in my how to become confident video High school can be such a like terrifying place, such a scary place because of all these students and you have to think of it this way, um, you can't take in what they're saying and I know being bullied kind of sticks to you. If they said like, I remember when they called me white, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm ugly because I'm so pale and my mom was like, no, Lillian, you know, everyone, everyone's pretty in their own ways and I literally don't even care what she said at that time. I was like, mom, you're just saying that because I'm your daughter. I was petrified. I was literally, I thought, I would, I'm not saying I'm like... I'm so confident right now. Of course, everyone has their own days. And I literally, with one student says something to me, and bam, that stuck to me in my 
I, not right now, obviously. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm so pale. But um, it kind of sucked me for a long time. And you have to remember that they don't know what they're saying. No one's basically fully developed. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. No. <laughs> but no one's fully like, they don't know what they're saying. That Everyone's going through like hormonal changes. And you have to kind of take it as a joke. And my mum would always tell me, because I always wanted to be an actress and I still do. But back then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go to university. I just want to act. I just want to audition. And my mum told me, okay, if that's the case, then. And I was, I would, you guys, I would come up with any excuse under the book not to go to school. I remember, oh my gosh, this is so random. Hold on. One day I put a hairdryer on my forehead and then I was sleeping. Right? And then when my mum walked in, I was like, <coughs> my mum dying. I can't go to school. I have a temperature. I have a fever. I'm dying. So she let me stay home. The next day, because this is how much I hated high school, I was literally avoiding it. I was so over the top dramatic, what's wrong with me? Like seriously. And then, um, so my mum would tell me, Lillian, you have to go to school. You can't just not go to school 365 days a year. And I was traumatized that those people that were calling me wadi, literally. I, and I, I never got bull bullied in the sense that they would hit me with nothing physical by that. Thank God, Jesus, I would die. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, but like seriously, I'm not, it's, oh, I don't know, that's really rude for me to laugh. Like just thinking about it, like it's insane. The reason I'm laughing is that no one should let anyone push them around. No one should let anyone tell them what to do. No one can judge you besides God. No one can judge you. So my mom would always tell me, you need to pretend you're an actress, pretend there's a camera crew next to you and you're going to school and you can just act. Act confident, pretend to be confident. And that kind of did help me, but I was like, mom, really? pretending to be confident kind of did allure me in that direction but um now that i think about it the main what i'm trying to say is it's once you grow a bit older i mean i'm 21 i'm not 50 but you even now that i look back at when i graduated when i was 18 the things that i would worry about was crazy and the only reason to basically survive high school is you know what create your own bubble and i've said this numerous times in all my confident videos in all my you know, follow your dreams, whatever it is, all those videos that I've said, which I'll link below. Look at it from the outside perspective and there's a person that has 30 friends sitting around them, literally, physically 30 people around them. Yeah, of course they look popular, but are they all true friends? Is it, would you rather have that or would you rather be one person with like two, three, four, five people around you that you trust, that you love, that you know them well? I, I was always that person that I, I always, and to this day, I mean, all, my I have four people that I can say I talk to on a daily basis or daily weekly basis the rest yeah they're really good friends and i'm really happy to have them in my life you know we grow we change we alter but it's not like i don't want to keep in contact it's just that i prefer to have a smaller group of friends because you know them you trust them you, you know what i mean it really frustrates me because even my sister she was going through, and my sister's five years younger than me as you guys know sarah she's basically not well not anymore when she was younger she was going through this whole phase that um oh my god to, she has to wear makeup to school to look feel good i went to a private school i wasn't even allowed in clean nail polish like seriously or oh, this i'll be like probably expelled i'm wearing this pink revlon color but i wasn't allowed any makeup and i had pimples growing up and i got tears for that as well and you kind of have to think about it that you're not there to impress anyone you just go there with your one or two friends you don't even need a bunch of people on your back to be your, your friend one or two friends, one friend, that's fine. Any, any, just one person that's kind of by your side. Or if, even if you don't have any friends, if, if you don't, not that you don't have friends, but if you don't find that connection with someone, that's fine. What I would do is I would call my mom if let's say my group of friends were like sick or they weren't there. You don't need to be fake with someone to be their friend kind of thing. I would rather have no friends rather than have to be fake or someone be fake to me to be friends kind of thing. That's not, that's not being called a true friend. And you have to think about a high school is you're just there to... It can be the most, I don't know, it's a crucial kind of stage, but it's such an exciting moment if you kind of make it exciting. You don't have to worry about what everyone says. You're not going to see those people. Those people that you go to high school with, I don't know about wherever, like, obviously everywhere's different. In Australia, once you graduate, you kind of only keep in contact with those people that you prefer to keep in contact with. You're not going to see those people ever again and i guarantee you people that i wanted to see like you just can't like life is too busy it's too hectic i'm not saying i'm glad i don't see those people but it's just life goes on and you go to high school you learn you develop you change and then that's it bam next chapter and it's an exciting period um kind of surround yourself with people that you admire that you love that you aspire to be be like or kind of go down the same path with don't 
And don't let, I know, oh my gosh, if I watch this, if, if, the, if YouTube existed when I was in year 7, I would be a whole new person. I'm not even joking. I'm not saying that um, this video is going to revolutionize everyone. But no one, I mean, my mom always told me, but back when you're a child, like when you're in year 7 or year 8 or going through high school, no one kind of listens to their parents as much. I mean, of course, me and my mom are very close. But you kind of look at her as, I mean, I looked at my mom as, mom, oh my gosh, you're like, you don't know what I'm going through. It's really not worth it. No tear is worth anyone annoying you. They're not worth your tears at all. They're not worth your anger. They're not worth your, just a second of you. Just even to think of, think about that, them or whoever they are, that group or that one person, they're not worth it at all. And um, I don't know, I wish someone kind of told me more, I don't know, in a deeper way when I was at that age. But um, I don't know, you kind of go up and you learn yourself. But what I'm trying to say is don't leave it till too late. Like, don't basically traumatize yourself and then get out of high school and be like, oh, what the hell was I ruining my emotions for what seriously but um you know just go through high school have fun um don't take it too seriously no one's gonna even remember what's what happened in high school no one no one i try i'm i'm trying to make a video and i'm trying to think of moments that i had in high school and i have no idea I, i've seriously forgotten half of them but um yeah basically be confident and when i mean be confident don't i'm not, I, don't, I don't mean open the door and start yelling and all that just be confident in your own skin that's really important have a few people around you that you trust that you love and that's it. Just go do what you're meant to do in high school. Just go study and don't go off the wrong track. And it's weird because I know a lot of people that were considered popular and beautiful and, I don't know, just a center of attention. And now they're, I mean, it's, I feel sorry for them. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but they're going off the wrong track. And it's really weird what the things that change after high school. And it's not the end of the world. After There's life after high school. There's life, I tell you. There's life. No, seriously. But um, yeah, I hope this video kind of helped and I really wanted to say this because I did get a, an email um, a few days ago and a, and a few other ones a few weeks ago before that and I was just like, I really want to make this video because I know school's ki kind of just started now um, in Australia and it's starting very soon overseas. So yeah, don't take anything too seriously and um, honestly ignore them. The more have you realized, even not just in high school, but even on YouTube, even anywhere, like work society wherever it is the more someone annoys you the more you ignore them the more they get aggravated and that's so fun to watch when people say like they kind of ex expect you to turn around and be like excuse me what did you say of course bullying is a very serious matter um but not when i mean don't, don't take it too seriously i mean don't get hurt by what they say um always think about it that high school is just another chapter you're gonna finish that chapter just like this book I mean, you're gonna finish you're gonna go through it you're gonna continue on with the book continue on with your with your life kind of thing and um, yeah, so talk to someone. If, if someone's bullying you, don't keep it in. Don't get embarrassed. I know I was embarrassed, but I, I mean, I was embarrassed to tell people, but I was never embarrassed to kind of tell my mom. And you know, from little things, people call me whitey, whatever, whatever it was, don't let it get to and tell someone because recently, I mean, there's, we've always had a problem, like people, you know, doing crazy things just out of the moment. They're hurting themselves, committing suicide. That's the saddest thing. And nothing is worth, nothing is worth your life. And, um, you know, keep that in mind. Your Everyone's life is so much more than just school or someone just saying a few lines to annoy you. Your life is worth so much more. There's so much more to life just after school, as I keep saying. But, yeah, I hope you guys really do take in um, and enjoy this video because it's the truth. It's reality. I'm not saying it to please anyone. It's the truth. Nothing is worth more than your life. Your, everyone's life is so precious. Um, and why would you why would that be taken away? and that's so sad every time you know I'll be watching the news and someone has committed suicide or someone has self-harmed themselves because of a bully victim that's insane and I wish I could you know obviously um, you can't really change the world but you can try one person you know one person at a time so I hope this video does help and remember I'm always here for you guys and I know it sounds like weird you're like a flea and why would you what do you mean you're always here but seriously if I do respond to most emails so um, if I don't respond, I definitely do read them anyway. So if you guys feel sad or if you just feel pressured by someone, if you're a bully victim, just write me a letter and I'll love to read it. And um, yeah, I'll love to email you back. And because I feel like you should always let it out. If it's not me, tell your mom. If it's not your mom, tell one of your friends. Just tell someone about it. Talk to someone about it. It's not worth holding it in either. So yeah, I hope this video kind of helped. And yeah, I hope everyone has a beautiful weekend. It's Friday now. So I have a wedding tomorrow to go to. So I'll probably do an outfit of the day then as well um but yeah um i really do i feel like you know a few years ago when i started my youtube thing it was 
it wasn't as personal but i really do feel like i've gotten to know most of you guys so um yeah i really do care about what goes on with my viewers so um really do take this in if you're just going to high school oh my god another ambulance what is wrong with my house and ambulance is going past it but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy high school um have fun stay close to your group of friends and yeah let me know if anything goes wrong i'm gonna beat them up no i'm joking no but physical violence is never the answer <laughs> But um, no, just email me. Let it all out. Just let it all out in an email. Enjoy this video and I hope everyone has a really good weekend. Bye guys. Lots of hugs and kisses from me to you. Do, 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 do. My heart's beating for you guys.